what's going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to be taking a close look at working with contacts in your ios app so here's the app we're going to put together we can go ahead and actually select let's get rid of my antivirus pop-up we can actually select a contact from the user's contact with this cool picker so let's go ahead and select let's go with daniel here and uh, we can actually select that we're just adding them and also saving their actual contact model. And when we tap on any of these, let's say I tap on Kate here, we can see all of Kate's information, um, address included, phone numbers, all that good stuff. You can even go to the edit context and go ahead and start editing some of this. So let's say I wanted to get rid of this phone number because me and Kate aren't friends anymore. We can do all of that stuff. And of course um, it looks native. It is the native context. Um, uh, UI. So we'll take a look at how to bring this into your application um, and work with it. So if that all sounds good, make sure you start by dropping a like down below. Hit subscribe if you're into iOS and Swift videos. That all said, let's get into the video. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We'll stick with the app template under iOS and let's go ahead and call this Exploring Context. Make sure your language, of course, is Swift, your interface and lifecycle storyboard and UI kit respectively. Go ahead and continue, save the project wherever you'd like. And first things first, we're gonna expand our window here. I'm gonna go ahead and select the 12 Pro Max simulator. Go ahead and give this a run to compile and launch your trusty sim. And let's get into contacts. So let's get started by jumping into the view controller here and importing two frameworks. We're gonna import um, both contacts and context UI. So when you start typing it, autocomplete should uh, basically give you both options for context and context UI. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to convert this to a navigation controller with a nice context uh, title here and maybe a plus button to select contacts. So we're going to jump into the storyboard. You can do this programmatically as well, but for the sake of time, we'll select the view controller, go to editor, and we're going to do embed in a navigation controller and that'll bring that guy in i'm also going to go ahead and select that and make it a large style and let's go ahead and give this a, a title of contacts and now what we can do is back in our view controller we can have a plus button at the top right so i can say navigation item dot right bar button item is a ui bar button item and we want this to be a system item and we can go ahead and say this is a uh, add system item with a target of self let me close this right panel uh, and we also want a selector on here and a selector let's try if we can get that autocomplete to cooperate again this is the one we want add uh, target is self and this action is uh, a selector of did tap add so now in did tap add, we can start messing around with some of the contact stuff. So there's a couple of different contact related controllers that are given to you. So if you just start typing CN view controller, you'll see actually in the autocomplete the variety that's offered to you. So you have a contact view controller, um, and then you also have a um, you also have a contact picker view controller. So we're going to go ahead and stick with this one here. We're going to instantiate it. I believe this guy has a delegate off of it to get the result back. And finally, what we can go ahead and do is we can say present VC animated true. Now, before we go ahead and run it, we're gonna have to deal with this delegate because it's gonna yell at us because we're not conforming to it. So let's come up here and just uh, add CN uh, delegate. And you want the picker view controller delegate, which is uh, this first one right here just like that. And hopefully that should go away. Now this, uh, this particular delegate and uh, needs to actually implement some functions. Let me make this at objective C. So the selector stops yelling at me. Uh, that error should go away just like that. Let's click into this delegate and let's see what this guy offers. So this offers um, a few functions. Um, so the first one here, contact picker did cancel, pretty self-explanatory contact picker uh, did select a contact, uh, did select contact property, um, et cetera, et cetera. And contact picker, this uh, last one here is did select a contact, which is multiple. So if you actually read the description here, 
um, it lets you select, you know, multiple. So you can create this to select multiple or a single contact. So um, let's see if there's a property on here where we can specify that to the controller. Um, if memory serves, there is. So there is display property keys. There's a delegate on here. There's predicate for enable contacts. So you can sort the contacts in the picker in case you have a bunch of them. But let's just go with this basic implementation. Let's hit that button and see what happens. So let's go ahead and hit that run button. Cool, it compiles. Let's go ahead and hit this plus button and see what we get. So we get this UI. So these are the contacts built into the simulator. Let's go ahead and pick uh, Anna here. And you'll see it'll go ahead and open up her contact. And uh, what you can go ahead and actually do is, uh, let's see, let's select, I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, home here. And you see nothing's actually happening uh, because we don't have any of the contact delegate functions hooked up. So let's go ahead and hook up, did select uh, contact here. So let me see which one we want. Let's try that again, did select contact. We want the one with a single entry, not plural for the sake of this video. And what we'll go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and print contact right there. And let me actually go ahead and interpolate this and give it a line break right before um, it. So it looks a little bit nicer. So there's our line break. Um, let's see, why is our interpret interpolation yelling at me? Because we need line breaks, not M's. So let's go ahead and uh, try that one more time. And we'll see what is printed in the console here. So let's go ahead and hit plus and let's select uh, John Appleseed because that's a creative name. So it looks like it has selected John Appleseed. It also printed out that particular contact um, and it also went ahead and dismissed our uh, controller. So here's the thing that I printed out, um, this massive structure, which is a CN contact. So you can see in here, there are a bunch of things, uh, properties off of it. There's an identifier, which is this whole thing here. There's a given name, a family name, first and last name. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is let's go ahead and get some of the information out of this. Let's go ahead and get their name, which is going to be their uh, given name plus a space plus the contact dot family name. So pretty cool. So that'll give us a, uh, a string for that person's name. And what we can also do is get their identifier. So let's go ahead and say the identifier that we want is contact.identifier. And the identifier we can later on use to query out this contact um, directly from the contact store. So let's go ahead and create a struct up here. And this will represent a contact. Um, let's just go ahead and call this a person rather, probably a better name. And we'll go ahead and say this has a name on it. Um, it also has an ID on it. And then it also has a source, which is a C and contact on it, just like that. And this guy should be just the contact, not the picker. And now what we can do is we can create this model out of uh, this information. So we'll say person is going to be, name is name, the identifier is identifier, and this is the given contact. And you probably guessed it already. What we now need is a array of these type of models. So we'll say uh, people is uh, an array of person like that. We can actually just call this models to be a little more clean, probably better readability. So we'll say models just like that. And finally here, we can go ahead and say models.append uh, the new model. So in practice, what you could do is you know, you can go ahead and show, um, you know, any type of UI. What we're going to do today is simply create a table view, which will be fairly basic. And what we'll be able to do is then tap on, um, tap on the particular cell and present a view context for just that, con just that contact. So let's go ahead and create a table here. It'll be fairly simple. No custom cells or any of that business. Let's see, we want a table view and my autocomplete is really not wanting to collaborate today. So we'll say this is a UI table view cell with a identifier of cell. We're gonna go ahead and add this guy as a sub view. We'll make its frame the entirety of the bounds. And we'll also go ahead and assign its data source. 
Respectively, we need to conform to that protocol, so the table view data source, and we need to implement its related functionality. So number of rows is going to be models.count. Cell for row is going to be let cell. We're just gonna dequeue it from the table. And basically, um, like I just said, we're gonna basically take the cell that the user taps on, and we are going to figure out which contact it is and show it in the view um, controller. So we'll say for index path, return said cell. And we also wanna go ahead and say cell.textlabel.text .text is going to be from the models, the nth element dot name. And what, every time we select one of these new um, contacts, we're just gonna say table view reload data. Let's go ahead and give that a run. I did it super quickly. Hopefully I didn't break anything. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's select a contact and boom, there is Kate Bell. Um, so now what we wanna do is tap on it and go straight to her contact. So what we're gonna do for that is well, we first need to implement the table views delegate. So we're gonna go ahead and assign that property to self. And we also wanna go ahead and conform to that particular protocol, which is the UI table view delegate, just like that. And we can implement the associated function, which is did select row at index path. We're gonna first deselect that row at the given uh, index path, uh, which is more or less unhighlighting it. So there's that. And here you can see it's using my table. You can also use the table view, which is the parameter. And now what we wanna do is get the actual contact out. So this is gonna be from our models, the nth element dot source, which is looking pretty good. Now we can create a context specific view controller. So we can say CN contact view controller, and you can create this with a variety of things. So you can create it for um, a particular contact, pretty simple. You can create it for an unknown contact. Let's say you don't know, um, you know which contact this is, you can create this for a new contact if you want to allow the user to create a new contact. But we're just going to stick with this one. And we're going to pass in contact. And then finally, we can go ahead and present the uh, view controller with an animation, pretty standard stuff. So let's go ahead and add a couple of uh, contacts to our, uh, our table here. So we'll go with that. We'll go with David there. Let's do one more. Let's go with, let's go with Hank. Why not? So let's say we wanna see David's information. We can tap on David and let's see, we should be seeing David's contact, but we in fact are not. So let's see what I botched. So let's take a look here in our console. So nothing in particular that it's yelling at me for. However, it looks like our app froze up here. So. Let's see if we need to present this in potentially a navigation controller. So let's say navigation controller, root, we'll pass in the VC like that. Slightly guessing at this point. So let's go ahead and add John and we'll tap on John and boom, there is John Appleseed. So it looks like there's a requirement to present this CN contact view controller as a um, child of a navigation controller. So. You can open that up. You can go ahead and um, you can actually also hit edit here, which is pretty cool. It'll open up the edit context. Um, and you can go ahead and uh, in this case, there is no way to dismiss it. Apparently swipe to dismiss doesn't play nice. So what you'll want to go ahead and do is add a uh, navigation item to dismiss on this navigation controller directly. So that's basically a quick overview of contacts uh, on iOS in your project. So if you wanna interface directly with the picker, um, you can do that. And of course, in the context framework here, and I'll do a separate video on this, you actually also have the ability to query out the context in your own UI. So if you've ever seen apps um, that ask you to like, you know, invite a friend and they somehow get access to your contact list, that's how they do that. It's fairly easy to do. It's not particularly complicated and I'll have a follow-up video on it. So. That's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, definitely drop a like down below. Super appreciate it. Comments, any questions, feedback, video suggestions, love hearing from you guys. And of course, hit subscribe while we're at it today so we can grow the channel together and hit that bell icon to get notifications whenever new videos go up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.